Uh, third unit, I'm going to take a uh, uh, third unit. My name is uh, Samodran. The course code DM702 Vehicle Body Engineering. Uh, third unit is Bus Body Vehicles. In vehicle Body Engineering, uh, third unit we write, uh, we have Bus Body Vehicles. So we are going to classify our bus buddies and uh, types of buses based on capacity. We have types of bus, minibus, small coaches for long distance, small buses for town, medium coach for long distance, medium buses for town, large coaches for long distance, large buses for town, very large buses for town. So based on capacity, right, uh, we are going to classify, classified as types of buses. Minibus and is an uh, passenger capacities. AQ, 15 passengers can accommodate. Small coaches for long distance, 60 to 30 passengers can accommodate. Small buses for town, up to 40 passengers can accommodate. Medium coach for long distance, 31 to 43 passengers can accommodate. Medium buses for town, 41 to 60 passengers can accommodate. Large coaches for long distance, 46 to 60 passengers can accommodate. So large buses for town, 61 to 80 passengers can accommodate. Very large buses for town, greater than 80 passengers. Can allow standing capacity also for town bus services. So next uh, we write a uh, design. We have types of bus. The brief features for of uh, different types of buses. One is a mini bus. You no, know, right. Uh, the design. We are uh, traveling mini bus also. Right. Uh, we are practically we are seeing. How many passengers can accommodate? Like practically, you can see. Okay, so in minibus should have seating capacity up to 26. Normally, a built on light duty chassis, front mounted engines, rear axle drive, soft and comfortable suspensions, reasonably comfortable seating, and fairly small entry platform. No features. So town bus or city bus. Next we pass on to town bus or we called as city bus. Such buses are used for this short distance journey of up to 30 km. Okay, such buses are used for short distance journey of up to 30 km. Usually covered with durable thin materials such as PVC dry. Next to right, uh, we have types of uh, materials used. Okay, so design, uh, yeah, uh, in uh, suppose in uh, town bus constructions, right? What are the materials design uh, used? Covered with durable thin materials such as PVC, such as features, etc. So due to short distance, the short intervals between stops in local traffic, such buses are provided with wide entrance and exit doors with low steps entry and exit platforms. And this, and, uh, this is a top view and uh, side view of the bus. All right, uh, this and already it has shown in the figure we have entry and exit platforms. Okay, due to short intervals between stops in local traffic, such buses are provided with the wide entrance and exit doors with the low steps entry and exit platforms. Okay. Next one, the brief features of different types of buses. Another type is a suburban bus. So these buses are used for a distance of about 40 kilometers. 
What are the features in that? Just you can see that it should have a reasonably comfortable seating for about 30 persons, 38 persons with the roof track for and luggage. Okay, so this end, uh, we have, we should have a reasonably comfortable seating for about 38 persons with the roof track for and luggage. So next one, uh, we have type of buses, another type is a luxury coach. So this one, a uh, luxury, luxury coach, that the luxury buses are very comfortable seats. With underfloor luggage space and roof rack for and luggage. Yeah, right? These are features. So these are under floor luggage space and roof rack for and luggage. Okay. Then we are going to have luxury course, right? You type in English travel for okay for long hours, long journey. That we have air conditioning, TV, VCR system, music system, etc. Are provided in the coach. So there is uh, wide windows or additional windows up to the roof are used to improve visibility for the passengers. The classification of buses based on body shapes. So next one, uh, another another topic is the classification buses based on body shapes. Also, right, we, we could uh, classify uh, single deck and other things. In this type of buses, engine is mounted either inside or below the driver's cab, enabling additional length available available for more seats and a better angle of vision. Engine is mounted and there is an uh, this type the buses engine is mounted either inside or below the driver's car. Means right, the utilization of space. Right, more space, right, means right, you can uh, accommodate more customers. That's why, right, and uh, engine location is inside or below the driver's cab. Can have been additional again, available, available for more seats yeah. and a better angle of vision. Such buses may have one or two doors. Many single deck models have seating capacity of 50. 52, okay, which is in city buses. It's reduced to have more space for standing. Just enable the transportation of more passengers for short duration. Uh, right, standing capacity also you can have for city, city bus operation. The classification based buses based on body shapes. Another type is double type. These buses have a rear mounted engine, which of course their front entry are good forward visibility for customers. These buses are rear mounted engine, which of course their front entry are good forward visibility for passengers. Such buses have passengers capacity of approximately 65 to 75. More passengers can accommodate. This is a double time. Right? So for this purpose only, right? Right, we are we are going to the single deck bus. It may have upper deck open for tourists. Okay. So double decker buses have 
secure stability than single vector particles. Very drawback. Just you see that word. A double tech buses have poor stability than single vector buses. <clears throat> okay, that's why right. Uh, we are not uh, right. We are not recommend to do use double tech buses. Next, we, we have two level single decker bus. This type of buses are used as luxury coaches. The layout provides good forward visibility for all passengers and good separate uh, luggage space bar and a floor. So this one, uh, this one is a luggage compartment. This area. This figure shows for a double deck bus. Okay, this is for two level single deck. Two level single deck. So this place can accommodate luggage and use luggage compartment. This type of buses are used as luxury coaches. The layout provides good forward visibility for all passengers and good separate, uh, uh, good separate uh, luggage space. Under the Next one, uh, the classification of buses based on body size, another than the model, another than the model, which are articulated buses. These are very large coaches for in city office. These are made up of two parts because of axle load limitations. The rear is articulated to the main vehicle. Okay. Let's so see that. Uh, in city operations, more than uh, busy hours. All right, the passengers can travel from one place to another. Okay, we can accommodate more passengers. That's why, right, we recommend for recommended we, we have recommended for These are very large buses for in city operation. These are made up of two parts because of actual load limitations. The rear is articulated to the main leg. Okay, already we have discussed the part types of bus based on shapes. Next, right, where you are going to construct bus body constructions. What are the metal sections used? First body construction, right? As per the dimensions, uh, right? So we are going to use the metal sections for body first body construction. See, metal section we have I section, L section, channel section, T section, Z section. Top add section, add. Then box with the bed. So I section with the plant side. Box rectangular shape. So H section for pillar. And Y section. And last one is Y section. We are going to construct a rigid body of the, of the, of the bus. That's why we are using for metal sections. Right, we are going to focus on rigid body, which is strong. Okay, so that's why we are using for metal sections. Use for metal sections. Use for the construction details of conversion bus. We have chassis. This one chassis, right? In chassis, right, how the class numbers to be modified, how, how the rails to be provided, how the rails to be fitted with the platform. 
As per our dimension of quality, it's very important, right? So this is a concentric details of we have the desired dimension quality of the root size height is All right, in that uh, we have chassis. All right. So first of all, right, we should uh, take for platform, then we have pillars, cross bearers, rays. Rays should be provided. After that, you can attach for sheet metal panels. So uh, very like as per dimensions, but as per dimensions, right? We are supposed to construct. Very important. We have our chassis. After that, uh, like we prepared for conversion. We prepared to construct a conversion. Okay, so that uh, we have class, uh, class members, builders, race. After you are going to attach skin like uh, skin type panels, then our design inner and outer, inner side and outer side by using seat models, right? You can attach. Okay, so after that, by using our force and populus, the force can be attached. Oh, that is right of panels to be attached on a frame. Power previous sign at worst, very far, right? So just try any any construction, body construction, right? Uh, body construction, you can right? right? You can visit there. We are using for power previous sign at worst. So this one is complete. Uh, Okay, these are just to see that uh, it is considered uh, as a straight line. You can say it's a straight line. Right, you can use to write uh, uh, metals, sheet metals to be attached to the right, uh, screen. Right, to make a bus part. Okay, so uh, next we pass on to the uh, first body regulations. Very important one. Uh, right, uh, design. What are the features? What are the features to be used to construct a first body construction? Uh, one is as per uh, body shape and design. This one, the first key, body shapes. Okay, uh, right, and then regulations. As you want, right? You want construct. As per the design regulations, you have to construct. Very important. Okay. Right. Uh, somebody thinks, right? I can, yeah, I can accommodate more customers. That's why I'm going to increase my, uh, my design. Increase. After the uh, right, uh, I'm going to accommodate more customers. No. So as per dimensions, right? You should focus for. First part, we have with this uh, two four five zero. All should be among to the ground clearance is uh, to write uh, four one two. We are in front uh, two four five zero, two four zero two, and two thousand eight hundred and four. Which we can add for those. I should be okay. Two four four eight two zero four eight. We are this one uh, two uh, this one uh, uh, front. Uh, this are uh, two five. From the, this are uh, panels used to right construct the uh, uh, two one four zero four five mm. Here we have that uh, glass. Position is there 1440 and uh, NT 1400. 
after this one uh, platform okay up to roof 190 from wheel has to platform 707 okay so as per regulations right we can concentrate to make a bus pass so uh, next this one uh, next one uh, conversion buses and one more uh, type is integral coach so we have integral coach lot of advantages here compared to conversion okay so this is an unitary bike or you can say monocar integral type okay unitary body number of metal sections used is less when compared to conventional body that is the difference between conventional body to integral or unitary body integral coach by welding methods right you can right you can use to construct your integral bus body okay this is the right from that we are going to reduce these metal sections as a right other body okay so light in construction and also right uh, design body total weight is less i'm going to right say and the 60 percent of weight goes to bus body construction while you are going to right use integral coaches 10 percent to be reduced 10 percent of weight of total weight of the bus body is reduced. okay so there's a lot of advantages and also right we can we can use more space with less resources in integral type okay so a lot of uh, advantages is, is there in integral mode. that's why uh, and also right a metal squeezing sound right you won't get that okay so uh, this one metal sections here right metal squeezing sound you won't get in the integral body because it has been attached with the design building by just we can see that commercial system commercial body construction due to some long distance long hours use use long uh, long years use right metals metal squeezing sound is appeared okay so design in commercial system there's a lot of uh, problems may have by right. being reduced, right, we can go for integral type coach. Monocast or body system, body unitary construction. Okay, so uh, this one, uh, uh, long theory is there. Okay, uh, previously, right, uh, this one is a unitary and conventional body system uh, by attached this skin, is a uh, right sheet metal right for box sections so see that they are going to you attach pop rivers and up boots for outer as well as inner also okay whereas uh, this is an uh, this is an integral bus right integral coaches just we can use a uh, right right by welding metals. even uh, panels also skin so we have this is a right uh, the preparation of uh, bus body construction bus body construction okay so these are uh, these are the types of metal sections used uh, as per the regulations right this is supposed to construct okay uh, 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 this one a third unit uh, I have covered. Next, we pass on to right fourth unit. Okay, so till uh, right. Okay, so.
So this uh, third unit uh, completed. Uh, next we pass on to fourth unit. See you then next month. Thank you.